What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Griddle Grub. Uh, we got a nice easy one today. I'm gonna start going down a list of uh, uh, when you guys commented on my videos. I told you to uh, put you know something in there you'd like to see me cook. So this is the first one I'm doing because it's by far the easiest. So we're gonna just make some diner style hash browns. And uh, yeah, easy ingredients. So let's just get it going. All right, we got the griddle up to temp. We're at about 300 degrees, and that, that's good for cooking hash browns the way that I like to do them like this. So I got these two burners on medium, and these two are off. So we're gonna go with a little bit of oil right here, and some butter. Come on, it's not gonna wanna move. There we go, yeah, it's cold butter. All right, let's just get you in here and mix that with that oil. All right. Butter helps give it a real nice crisp. All right. Get it off there. All right, there we go. We got a nice, nice base down there. So let's put these hash browns in. Now, this is how I made the hash browns. So now, now we got this real fine, good stuff. I, it's dry. I let it sit after I, um, you know, shredded them all up and pressed them and everything. I let them sit for about 15 minutes or so, and yeah, it's just real fluffy now and some good stuff. So let's go ahead and just put this stuff on. I'm gonna get a nice, nice pile of it. All right, now that was about two cups worth that one potato made. So I'm just kind of spreading it out. I don't want it real thick, so I want to get a nice cook all the way through it. So that's that. And now, the most important part, cover it up and don't touch it. I'm gonna bring you back in five minutes. So you see that was real easy. You just wanna, actually you could probably even let it go more like 10 minutes. I did take this off and let it go for I don't know, another two minutes just so it can kind of dry out the moisture that got built up in there before I flipped it. And I did put the salt and pepper on top there. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover it for another uh, like five to seven minutes and then I'm gonna uncover it and then we'll bring you back and see how it's looking. All right, let's see how we look. Oof. Man, there's some real nice crispiness going on in here. So let's give this thing a flip 
and then bring it in and see how we look. Oh, kind of fell apart on the bottom there, no big deal. But yeah, come on in, check these out. All right, let's kill this heat. Get a plate. And just plop them right on down here. Oof. Look at all this. All that flavor, get in there. All right, so that's all it is. I mean, super simple to do this. You get a nice crisp, that butter is key. Gotta use that butter. Get a, I don't know if you can hear that through my microphone, but man, got a nice crisp on there. Ooh, these are gonna be good. Let me take a little bite for you. See, when it stays together like that, you know you did it right. Mm. Really good. It's simple, guys. So I think that was John. Uh, John something that requested this one. So thanks, John. And I appreciate you guys coming along. Smash that thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you like what you see. Let me know if there's something you want me to cook. And don't worry about the TV. It's not getting dirty, I promise.